everyone, I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET. This is the HTC First. What's interesting about this phone is that it is the first phone to feature Facebook's Facebook Home experience for Android already built in. I share many more details about Facebook Home in a separate video, but what you need to know right now is that it takes over your home screens and it shows you a slideshow of all of the Facebook images that you have in your news feed, also status updates. Facebook calls this the cover feed, and from here you're able to like and comment on status updates and photos from your friends. Since this is still an Android phone, you still have access to everything, including Google Now, your recents list, the lock screen, and all of your apps. HTC phones usually come with HTC Sense as the overlay. Since this one comes with Facebook Home, if you want to remove it, what you're left with is stock Android. So this could be a good choice for somebody who's looking for a stock Android phone at an affordable price. As for the specs themselves, the HTC First has a 4.3 inch HD display and runs Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. There are three capacitive touch buttons at the bottom of the screen that deal with navigation. They're for back, home, and menu. There's a lot you can do with the central home button. You can call up the launcher, you can raise Google Now, and you can also show your list of recent apps. Unlike most HTC phones, this one is very simple. It doesn't have a lot of special accents or any kind of crafting in terms of the chassis. You see that it is completely sealed. There is a SIM card slot, but there's no micro SD card slot and you also cannot remove the battery. The phone does come with 16 gigabytes of internal storage though. If you think you're gonna need more than that, this might not be the right phone. The first is enrobed in this soft touch finish that does make it comfortable to hold. Again though, it's not very exciting to look at. Phone does come in other colors, black, white, a light blue, and red. There's a five megapixel camera on the back with LED flash. The camera quality is pretty good for five megapixels. The greens were a little bit overblown, Photos definitely looked a lot better when shot outside than inside an artificial lighting. You're not going to get as much detail as you would with today's top 8 megapixel and 13 megapixel cameras, but I think that it does a very adequate job. The camera does capture 1080p HD video and the phone plays back 720p HD video. There's a 1.6 megapixel camera on the front. Inside, the first is run by a 1.4 gigahertz dual core Qualcomm processor. The HTC First costs $99 on AT&T with a new to your service agreement. Facebook Home is a very specialized experience. I would definitely recommend it for people who are self-proclaimed Facebook addicts. Conversely, you might also be interested in this phone if you're the exact opposite. If you're looking for a stock Android phone at a good price, then you might consider the first. However, Facebook Home will be available on other handsets, including the HTC One, One X, One X Plus, the Samsung Galaxy S3, Samsung Galaxy S4, and Samsung Galaxy Note 2, including phones in the future. So if you are looking for Facebook Home, you have other options. This is Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET. This has been your first look at the HTC First. You can read my full review of Facebook Home and the HTC First on CNET.com.